Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to the forest. So guys, we've got an update, we're now in version 0.67, and as always, I'll be going through some of the main changes in the update, but if you want to see a full list of the patch notes, there will be a link in the description if you want to check them out. So guys, to start off with, we have a weapon holder. So I think where we should place this is in the war room. Uh, so what the weapon holder is, it's basically just the weapon rack, but placed on a floor, it should change to a weapon holder. And it can be used to place your favourite weapon. Okay, let's try this out. It only costs one log two, so it's in decorations, weapon display. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a stump. But then we put it on the wall and it turns into a weapon rack. So it seems like you'll have to play around with the rotation. And I did have a table here, but it's disappeared, so it makes sense having a, some kind of decoration here. For some reason, have you ever cut the bottom of a mushroom off? It kind of acts in a weird way. That's what these feel like. I'll rotate as well so we can get some at different angles. And then rotate it again. Kind of crashing with a skull lamp for some reason. Come on. There we go. Kind of looks like three stools. <laughs> so those three weapon holders only take three logs. Which is pretty good. I only need one. Okay, so they're not the most stylish weapon holders ever, but let's see if they work. What's that? The flare gun. I don't know why I'd want to showcase the flare gun, but at least it's on there. Let's try some others. Oh. The spear kind of shoots out of the wall. The bow. What else we got? Oh, that's cool. Instead of just lying flat, it's stuck in it. Right, what? Well, uh, the katana's there, but I've got the katana. Oh! Yes! The physics seems strange, but it looks pretty good. That is nice. That is really nice. In fact, I'm going to leave that in there. We'll change the flare. And what else we got? Very cool. I can see, um, like, putting these out near a tree or something, like where you're collecting logs, having three of these and having three different axes in there. Yeah, they're all just stuck in. Modern axe. Awesome. Nice little update, this. Oh, that messes up a little bit. What else can you put? Oh, you can put the rocks. Okay. You see a weapon holder, I see art exhibition. <laughs> uh, this is art in the forest happening now, people. This is art. A nice little addition to the war room. Although I shall name these the Rocks of Peace. <laughs> kind of a conflict in war room, but oh well. Oh, just another thing, it says uh, it is now possible to take items off the weapon racks while not having room for it in the inventory, in which case a pickup version will be added. So you can see here, I do have the katana, so if we pick up the katana before, it wouldn't let you. Yeah, it now just drops it. Oh, I actually like that. So in the last update, they massively overhauled the survival book. And now what they've done is they've made the tabs more in line with the rest of the design. And they've also added a new tutorial page design. Ah. So this looks more user-friendly for new players. And there's three steps in total. Just the shelter, the fire, and uh, oh, some designs as well for the berries. Oh, and little drawings. This is nice. And they've also improved the look of the stats page materials. Okay, well first thing, the fullness and hydration is now being relabeled from stomach and thirst. And also one of the other changes is that they've now added the up and down arrows that used to be there in the old stat book for the weight. But mine seem to have disappeared. I don't know why. Maybe my weight's stable, that's why I have no up and down arrow. But the worrying thing about this uh, new update is that my strength has been zapped down to 1. And I haven't really played single player much since the last update, but it was on 16, so now it's down to 1. So do let me know if this has happened to you guys if you find out your strength has been lowered. It'd be interesting to know. So if you've been following my single player series, 
you'll know about the zipline glitch. So let's see if it's been patched. I know a few of you guys will ask, so let's see. We can't make it short. So if you didn't know guys, what you did is you put two zip lines really close to each other and you could go for an infinite amount of time. But it seems like they've patched it, you can't even put it close together anymore. That's the closest we can go. Oh well, let's we'll try it, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. It's probably not gonna work. <laughs> oh well. It was good while it lasted. Hope you had some fun out of that guys, but yeah, they fixed it. They fixed it. Okay, so I have to show you the new turtle shell. It says the turtle shell model and retexture work. Look at that already. What? How evil is that? The turtle shell has like, you can see the skeleton on the inside. Die, Bobby! <laughs> Look at it. It looks, I don't know if I want to get on this. And for some reason it kind of resembles the face hugger from Aliens. But we're going to have to use it because they've added something cool. It says, added new audio to Turtle Shell Sled and new airborne sound effects. So let's go. Oh. Airtime. Oh, I can hear all the foliage cracking. That's actually really good because it feels like you're going faster. We have to have another sound test. It sounds great. Crazy how a sound effect changes everything. Seems like you do go faster. Your turtle shell is evil, Tony. I think I can look at it the same way again. But anyway, guys, for next on the update, we have a major trap rework. So the Happy Birthday and Deadfall trap have been tweaked to increase chance of enemies dying reliably when trap is triggered. Also, the Creeper Mutants will now stagger backwards when hit by traps, and Creeper Mutants can now damage traps with their attacks. Okay. So you can be a bit more sneaky now in how you kill the cannibals. So I've uh, set a few explosive traps up so we can test all this out. Uh, these are just normal ones. But over here, I thought I'd try and do something a bit inventive and put a dry rack there, which tends to attract cannibals because they try and hit it. So then we can throw a projectile and hopefully blow them up. But we'll try a rock first. Rock is classed as a weapon. Come on. No? I don't want to get too close. Right, that is right on it. How accurate can you be? Because I was hoping to use my uh, burn arrow. Oh, another little update. The burn arrow no longer vibrates. Look at that. <laughs> I know it's not the biggest update, but it's a welcomed one. So if we didn't hit it with a rock, what's the chances we can hit it with uh, an arrow? Oh! Oh, that was the turtle! Oh, my bad. Alright, we need some cannibals to test this out on. If I get on that, I'm going to blow myself up. That's it. Move it to a bit to the side. There we go. Get you out of here. Hey! Hello. Come on. Got some traps waiting for you. So you can also get hurt by the happy birthday trap now if we test it out. Yeah, it does. Okay, so watch out for that, guys. Come on, the deadfall trap. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it gives me my arrow back. All right, that was a pretty cool turn of events. Kind of feels like when you can light a leaf trap with a fire arrow. But man, was that fun. So it says the four fire types can now be destroyed without lighting first. So that would be the fire pit, the normal fire, the bonfire, and the standing fire. So can we destroy how many? That takes a couple. That takes one. That should maybe take two. I don't know. Oh. So you no longer need to light them all to destroy them, which is good. Hopefully the cannibals don't destroy them that quick. But yeah, that's a nice little addition. Um, another thing is, we have uh, the pot. 
pot has had a rework. It looks really nice. It's got kind of like a rusty shine to it. They somehow made it look old without making it unpleasant to drink out of. <laughs> but that's some of the main updates in single player, guys. Now let's jump into the dedicated servers and see some of the updates that are in there. Okay guys, welcome to the Forest Discord server. Uh, this is open to everyone, just click the link in the description to join my Discord. So we've got a couple of people in here already, and we are testing out the regrow mode, because supposedly it is now working. We've chopped down seven trees, and as you know, 10% of them grow back when you fast forward time, so let's hope at least one does grow back. Okay. One, two, three, four... And three over there, five, six, seven. Doesn't like any have grown back, but they must be shy because I do have it on good authority that the regrow mode is working, just not now. So for dedicated servers, it says here that fixed kick and ban features, admin commands can now also support kicking, banning, and unbanning by name. Well, if we look in the help, um, there is no unban feature. If we look at the help one out of three line, there is no unban, so I'm not going to risk banning someone and not being able to unban them, so all I'm going to do is try and kick people and see if that works. Alright, here goes, let's test it. Who should we do first? Uh, Bright. <laughs> He's gone. Right, so that works. Um, I'll kick everyone else and then I will show you what happens when you get kicked. That's everyone. I'm all alone. So that's what happens when you get kicked out of a game. Hopefully that won't happen to you too much, but we need to jump back in for one more thing. So we got the Merry Band of Misfits back together. So it seems that there might be two different updates, one for dedicated server and one for multiplayer, because in multiplayer it says sharks are now working in multiplayer games. Now I don't know if this means for dedicated servers, but we will try and find a shark. There is no sharks. We've been around for a while now and we can't find any. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, so let me know in your hosting games, guys, whether you find sharks, because I can't see any in here at the minute. Yep, no sharks, oh well, hopefully it will be added to dedicated servers too. It is strange how the hosting and the actual dedicated servers have different updates, it's kind of strange. I don't know, but the worst thing in this sea at the minute are these guys. <laughs> So shame about the sharks, hopefully we'll get them soon, but that is the update version 0.67. Really hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you did, do leave a like, rate and support this series. And if you've got this far, put face hugger in the comments. Why do the shells look so evil? I have no idea. But the next update is in 13 days guys, so hopefully it'll be another good one. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.